Hi everybody, welcome to part four of our MaskRCNN tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're gonna teach you how to take your model and evaluate it, or figure out how well it performs. So if you go to the repo and open up evaluate.ipynb, we're gonna first, of course, start by importing our dependencies. And then as normal, let's also set some constants. We train a model over three classes, we're going to go ahead and set weights file to none because we're going to grab the most recent uh, epoch or recent H5 weights file. Now let's uh, supply the path to an uh, to a data to a data set that we, that we want to evaluate on. So this is going to be our ground truth annotations file, and then our ground truth data set directory, which is uh, where our images are are going to be stored. We also called our name test model. So that's what our name is going to be. Uh, that's just to figure out, or help it to figure out which uh, H5 weights file to pull. So again, same thing as last time. We can uh, set which GPU we want it to run on. Um, we're going to set it to run on the very first GPU in our cluster. So when we're evaluating, we have a few different metrics that we can change. These are just some of the few metrics that we can change. Uh, the rest are in uh, config.py, which is in the MaskRCNN repo. So go ahead and check out that particular file uh, for a full comprehensive list of all the other things that you can change because uh, the authors of the Matterport repo did supply some comments as to what all the different um, things in the, in the configuration file uh, mean. So in our case, this is the setup that works uh, well for us. Um, again, like I mentioned in the last video, you can change this detection minimum confidence uh, depending on um, you know, how, uh, how confident you want your model to be. In this case, we set it to 0.1. So uh, that basically means if it detects something, if it's at least 10% confident that what it detects is something, then go ahead and display that uh, to the screen. Cool, so we can display our configuration, again, just to make sure everything is okay. And then this is gonna be the class that we'll load uh, to, or build to load in uh, ground truth data. We'll build our mask our CNN model in inference mode. Load weights into the model. And so it, go, it went ahead and pulled from the most recent epoch. So that's epoch 80. And now we can uh, load our data set, our ground truth data set, rather. And so the metric that we're going to be evaluating is mean average precision. And mean average precision is important when it comes to evaluating how well your masks are. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're not going to be showing how to do bounding box. Uh, accuracy that's intersection over union. However, Matterport does supply uh, functions to run this particular metric. Uh, for the research that we're conducting, however, we're more focused on mean average precision. So that's why we have this for our repo. However, in later iterations, um, we can add intersection over union. Uh, we're accepting pull requests. Uh, so if anybody wants to contribute, uh, you're more than welcome to. So let's go ahead and run, uh, let's calculate mean average precision. And so by default, this is gonna run mean average precision with an IOU at 0.5 or an intersection of union at 0 0.5. So we have all of our average precisions, uh, our precision array recalls, overlaps, class IDs, and scores. And so basically it'll process all of our images in our data set. Uh, and then at the very end, it'll tell us uh, what our mean average precision was. So let's go ahead and run that. So it looks like we got a mean average precision of around 35%. Uh, so now that we can plot a precision and recall curve and also get uh, some more data evaluations, more data metrics on that. So that's it for this four part series of MaskR CNN. Uh, we hope that you got some use out of it. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave uh, us a comment and uh, stay tuned for more videos. All right, thanks, bye.